Linda Sanchez, Congresswoman Linda Sanchez is with us. They're rep ably representing, brilliantly representing the 39th District of California. And Congresswoman, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure it's, to be with you. It's great to have you. I believe you've been on before, but it's great to have you here with us. Um, you are asking the question, uh, will, or I, I guess, I guess, you know, maybe my producer is, will America have social safety nets in the future? Uh, it seems like the Tea Party Republicans, now the Tea Partiers themselves, frankly, I think are vanishing into the woodwork very, very rapidly. And the few that Lee Fong from Center for American Progress was able to interview recently all said, cut the subsidies to the oil companies, not cut food stamps. But, right. but the, uh, the so-called Tea Party elected officials, that 100% of Republican freshmen who don't believe in global warming and, and who the majority of don't even believe in evolution, um, <laughs> these people don't want America to have a social safety net, it seems to me. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but let me just throw that to you and let you rant on it. No, I think you're absolutely correct. I think what they've done is that they've li they're lying in wait for the perfect storm in which they can attack these social safety net programs and say that we don't need them. And wh what they've done is they've taken the results of the last election cycle where they, um, they won back the majority of the House to say, see, the American people wants us to cut fat from the federal budget. But the fact of the matter, this isn't fat that they're cutting. This is bone and meat. And the majority of American people want to see the amount of money that is spent on Social Security and Medicare stay the same or even grow as we have a growing number of baby boomers who will be retiring. Um, but what they're saying is, uh, oh, we're just going to dabble around the edges. But their true end game is to eliminate the social safety net. Sure. Um, when you're a family, for example, and you're dealing with, um, you know, reduced income and you go through your household budget and you think to yourself, OK, where can I trim the fat? I mean, you don't take your kid out of college right away when you need to or stop feeding them if they're or 10 years old. Them. I mean, that's a, that's a better analogy. Con Congresswoman, if I yeah. if I may yeah. it, 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 tell me if my math is right on this I, or, 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 or if not, I'm pretty sure it is, by the way. I, but but if. If we were simply to eliminate the Bush tax cuts, then over, or, you know, assuming that they last 10 years, when they're only scheduled to last another year and a half, but, you know, who knows, um, that we would be looking at at least a trillion dollars over a decade, possibly two, if we were to take Pentagon spending levels back to where they were when Bill Clinton left office, we would save $3 trillion dollars. That those two combined are about half of the entire debt of the United States right now, and and certainly more than the deficit of one and change that's coming up. Um, and and if we were to go back to the Reagan tax, if we roll back the Reagan tax cuts, which is when all this, you know, all these budget problems began, and simply roll back the Reagan tax cuts, we would have no problem at all. Is why why are no politicians willing to talk about these things? Um, we are. You know, there are those of us who stand up and say, this makes no sense. We're giving tax cuts to the wealthiest 1% of Americans. Um, we keep increasing um, our, uh, our Department of Defense spending, which, by the way, is one of the areas in which there is fat to be trimmed because yeah. there are contractors that are wastefully spending government dollars. Um, but if you try to talk about the fat that exists there, then people say, oh, you're not for the defense of America because you want to scale back there. We spend more for our military than all other countries in the world combined. Right. And that seems um, a little unnecessary. It seems a little <laughs> unnecessary. I mean, yeah. uh, there definitely are areas that we can trim back there. We can trim back on the subsidies to the oil and gas companies. Right. Or Forty, the, $40 billion dollars over the next 10 years. Correct. Because you know what? At Four dollars, in some places, five dollars a gallon. You know, gas companies just really aren't making enough money. Sure. Um, we can, uh, you know, cut some of these, uh, close some of these tax loopholes that encourage multinational corporations to move overseas, their production facility and their jobs, by the way, and that allow them to skirt the corporate tax rate here. But instead, the Republicans are talking. Uh, I've, I heard this this morning on the news about trying to reduce the corporate tax rate. Well, there are companies like GE that really virtually pay no taxes. They right. get all and, the and, benefits. And Bank of America paid no taxes. Uh, they made a lot of money. Paid no taxes because they have 131 offshore subsidiary tax havens, offshore tax havens where they stash their profits. Correct. And why is that not un-American? 
Yeah. I mean, all we are seeing are the richest and the wealthiest getting their tax rates cut, and we're seeing the rest of us seeing our services cut. So how do our we pensions and our futures cut? How do we break through this, Congresswoman? We're you know I, 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 I've been watching the media very very carefully, and I occasionally but very rarely, usually it's Ron Paul, will hear some discussion of the Pentagon budget. Almost never hear any discussion about, you know, rolling back the Reagan or the Bush tax cut. In fact, I've, I haven't heard of discussion, serious discussion of the Reagan tax cuts in a decade. Um, how do we break through this? Well, I, number one, it starts with, you know, the American public who's affected by this has to wake up and smell the coffee. Yeah. I mean, they have to realize that they are voting for people that are turning around and taking money out of their pocket and giving it to people who don't need it. Yeah. I mean, when you say you want to cut, I mean, even Americans who want us to trim fat from the budget, they're not saying Social Security. They want us to cut the fat so that we can preserve Social Security because they know how important those programs are for keeping people out of poverty and allowing them to live in dignity. But, you know, it's been perverted by this group of, you know, Republican freshmen who are trying to outcut one another. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's like a game to them ideologically yeah. because their end game is they don't care what the results are. They just want to be able to say that they cut the most. Yeah. Well, the fact is those cuts are going to hurt people. And until the people who are there, they are going to hurt understand that and fight back, no, there's not going to be any change. Very, very well said. And and frankly, I don't think these guys, even and men and women, even understand how the Constitution works with this, this crazy bill that they just tried to pass. Anyhow, Linda Sanchez, uh, lindasanchez.house.gov, the website. Thank you so much, Congresswoman. 